I've come in contact with this thing is that like it may sound really harsh but yes we are overconfident hmm. overconfident because we think that okay today i'm sitting down to read this and a week later again i'll be sitting down to read and still i'll be able to recognize those words still i'll be able to speak english yeah and uh, you you were right you were so right i think uh, i just want to twist it a little bit you know it's like let's say i'm reading an article from a newspaper and in the third paragraph i get stuck I like our problem is that we give up on this immediately. Yes, yes. We do not think that okay, look at the last few lines that I was able to understand everything. Mm-hmm. Only in the third paragraph I got stuck for a moment and but I'm just you know taking out the conclusion that reading newspaper is tough or reading newspaper is not for me. Mm-hmm. I th- I think that's the point here. Yeah. yeah, then then we uh, decide to do it next day. then days pass by so do the weeks and yeah and, and you know we we like my point is that we come to a conclusion so fast yes. like when i ask my student to read, read like i asked you to read you you just read you did not ask that i'm getting stuck i'm not able to read i feel sleepy mm-hmm. you know i think about my past whenever i re- you never said anything you just read you completed the books and then you reported to me so not every student uh, uh, not every student does that and that's a problem yeah like here we can use that brain traces probably it is yeah, brain traces yeah, yeah, yeah. no excuse no excuse yes no excuse use this term and follow eat that frog's rules mm. like you know i i literally whenever i talk about this particular book this thing this term hits me a lot that six p formula proper prior planning prevents poor performance yes. so it it doesn't happen overnight or it doesn't happen all of a sudden as you're talking about we make decision really fast plan that mm. the okay i have sat down with this particular article today i'll be getting into the depth of it mm. i'll be just digging out the best out of it mm. let's see what happens probably i'll not be able to finish the whole newspaper mm. you don't need to do that mm. just choose single article single thing whatever you are interested in then dig it out just mm. whatever you have found out one word go to dictionary and find just try to find similar words synonyms of that word antonyms of that word the adjective verbs and how many forms of that particular word is available there Absolutely. that is how the experience probably happens mm. you know uh, like it's it's so interesting that you you just uh, Uh, you know raise this point that reading uh it's we like we have done dedicated videos on that so when it comes to reading we are voracious readers guys we read a lot whenever we get time she's not getting time these days but yeah as i was saying like you know we, let's say you are read, as i said like my if i just start from the last thing that i said it's like getting stuck in the third paragraph or any paragraph for that matter I think it's a challenge right you are getting stuck meaning you don't know this yeah like it's an opportunity to learn like obstacle is an opportunity to, to learn we are mistaking obstacles for a uh, threat mm-hmm. we we we're, we're thinking like you know it's a threat like it's it is going to put me in trouble it's not going to put you in trouble it is actually opening up new um, uh, or doors f- for opportunity to learn new things mm. you know like uh in a in a fun way i can say a movie is really mundane without villains absolutely so, like we like uh, you see the grammar mm-hmm. you see the exceptions yes. like you say like, okay if you want to make a singular noun plural uh, then how how do you do that you add you add s e s i e s to the yes. noun and then you make it plural but can you apply it every to every noun no mm-hmm. there are ex- exceptions like yeah. a man becomes men then you do not add as yes as yes. yes so th- these exceptions actually make the learning interesting yes. and amazing right mm-hmm. um, yeah it is little little bit difficult for a learner to just adapt and process on on a very first day when he or she is exposed to it but over time definitely will be able to understand understand what are what are the tech uh, technicalities or what are the differences mm-hmm. so yeah these things look i think if english learning english was or speaking english was so easy everybody would have spoken yes. english like you go anywhere like look i'm not saying that spoken english is everything i'm not saying that i'm saying it is a skill as simple as that yes. i love reading bengali books 
I li- I read more Bengali books than English. You know that very well. So yeah, Bengali magazines are published uh, prior to Durga Puja, and I like buy six seven, and I read all short stories and everything. But my English books are there; they're just standing, looking at me, bored. And you know. do you understand what I mean? So yeah, okay. So but I I want to ask you here one thing that, uh, like most people, like everybody wants to speak better English. But when it comes to taking part in any conversation, let's say there is a conversation going on and some people are doing it, and they are good in English, and I'm I've just started learning, and I feel like should I should I take part in it? Like I think it would be so embarrassing if I make any mistakes. So do you understand? So taking engaging in conversation is difficult for most learners. They think okay, one day I will take part in a conversation. That one day never comes. You if, if you want if you want to get to that. level then you have to take this step this yeah. tiny steps yeah maybe you will be humiliated hmm. because you are you think you will be humiliated i i have never seen parvati in my entire life that you are speaking wrong english and for that reason people are laughing at you hmm. it only happens on uh, youtube comment yes or facebook comment <laughs> like in real life have you ever uh, experienced this that people are laughing at you because you are speaking wrong english never happens hmm. You know, if you ask me that why we are not able to take parts in any conversation, as simple as that. Those who are having the conversation, they are from Oxford University. We do think so. When it is about, when it is Mental. about taking, yes, when it is about taking part in any conversation, we do feel that okay. Like, like us, we are from Cambridge <laughs> University. We are speaking like you know. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, so I, you know, yeah, yeah. But so, uh, like, we are doing fun. Yeah. We didn't have the plan to do the video. We just yes. we came here. We have the points ready, and now we wanted to talk. Now, this video, is, like this entire, this uh, you know, chat or conversation, uh, getting recorded. So, it will be uploaded soon. Yeah. Then we look at it. Then people get some, you know, help. So we are actually doing the fun. Right, so we are doing the. It's on purpose. We are doing this conversation. Yeah, and most interestingly, you know, as Dada have just said that we made some points and we were thinking about talking about those points. Now we have forgotten all those points. Yeah. Because we have got into because of our fun, because we are enjoying this conversation a lot. We don't even know what actually we started with. Like we never follow script. Yes, yes, that's <laughs> that. It's it's really a fun game. Yeah. You are talking about whatever you know the gibberish or whatever yeah, is yeah, coming up. Yeah, yeah. And mind. and we're like you you make mistake. I'm sorry. Like I'm interrupting yeah, again and again. But uh, yeah, uh, what I'm saying that you know like you are not following any script. That's why it, it it's fun. It's mm-hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. If you follow a script, then. you know it gets very predictable i've observed it so many times and and i know like they're smart enough to catch yeah, us yeah. so easily yeah or maybe it's a trend that everybody is doing it and you you should be doing like make a script and then just uh, you know read it hmm. just read it no we we are not doing it guys we we make a lot of mistakes when we speak english but we never we are never ashamed of ourselves uh because it's not our language like I, my first language is bengali Right, we have got Rabindranath Tagore, Shar Chandra Chatterjee, Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. We have we have got these people in in our land. Like I'm not ashamed of speaking uh, like like wrong English because English is not my language. When I speak yeah. wrong Bengali, then maybe that's a matter of shame, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, what do you think? Like we are taking so much. We are taking English very seriously, and that's why I think. we are, whenever an opportunity comes to just speak or take part in a conversation we are not able to do that mm.